With the Overwatch 2 beta under three weeks away, I want to talk about how it will change Brigitte and her playstyle. We know Briggs changes from the beta, and let's talk about them and how I think they've changed her role and her playmaking decisions. So far, what we know the Overwatch 2 changes are as follows. Bray will no longer have her stun with Bash. The Bash will now extend farther. We're adding more damage to Shield Bash. Instead of it being 5, it'll do 50 damage. And Bash will now also trigger Inspire. Overall, right now, what's the biggest change and what's the thing that's shining out the most? I think this is a nerf to Briggs countering tanks and a buff to countering DPS. Boom, if that's all you came for, bye, but let me explain what I mean. Now that Briggs Bash doesn't actually stun, countering tanks like Ball, Diva, Winston, Rhine are suddenly harder to counter. No more hard CC to shut them down. Now you have to aim your soft boob CC with Whip. Meanwhile, stun does 50 damage now, and while that's quite the increase, stunning a 900 HP ball who is rolling by will do nothing. So Brig countering tanks becomes harder, especially ball, and now we have to whip him in order to displace and shut them down. This is Overwatch's attempt at taking CC out of the game and into the tank role, but I'm okay with this overall and shouldn't change her playstyle a whole lot. To make up for their no stun, they're buffing the other reasons to use Shield Bash, and that is for movement. They aren't just completely nerfing her, but adding some depth and getting more power with the extra range on the bash. Definitely a good change for us. But I think Shield Bash change actually is a buff to countering DPS, and if I'm being honest, it seems that DPS are just going to be way better in Overwatch 2 with one less tank, so this is good. Even though the Bash does not stun a DPS in their tracks, it does like a quarter of their health. Whip and Bash now deal 120 damage, which can be a lot of extra space taken from DPS as they're low. And with the extra range on Bash, it should make it easier to get those off. And on top of that, Shield Bash now triggers Inspire, so you don't even have to put your shield down in order to heal your team. This will make it a lot easier as you don't have to even take more damage before doing your job as Brig. Going into the beta, I'm going to be focusing on countering DPS more and hitting them with my abilities, especially my bash. Bashing tanks is not a thing anymore unless they're one shot, but I'm really mostly going to be bashing away from tanks most likely. The only reason I could use bash is for inspire, but I don't think that's going to be what you need to do against tanks. Let's just focus on whipping tanks if we can. Bashing DPS is going to be a way better option for the extra damage in Inspire stats, and Bash now goes from a shutdown stun to more of a movement-based and damaging DPS role. Overall, I really didn't want Brig's core values of the game to change, and I think they did a good job at keeping Brig at the protector, defensive hero, but also taking away the hard CC from her kit. I can't wait for the Overwatch beta. I'll be streaming the beta when it comes out, so come hang with me on twitch.tv forward slash holyshifted, and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you there, and play Brig all you can now and relish in having this done while we still have it.